I'm sorry, I have a bad throat. Okay, uh, this little change over here. The web client, as I said, it is ADS extension for EPMA application. So we can ignore ADS over here at the moment. We continue with XML, desktop client, and web client. So now I specify XML file and I'm load the, I'm going to load the metadata. Same log file, all the members are pass one, pass two, all the members are loaded successfully. Right, we can go to, a metadata loading is done. Where do we check it? We can test over here. Metadata loading we can test in data explorer. So unlike in desktop client, we do not have any ready-made data explorer. We need to create one data explorer in a web client. So the step would be, there would be one additional step for web client, creating application loading, securing loading metadata. Up to here, it is common. And then there would be additional step called creating data explorer. Now. Creating data explorer, I don't want you to take to that thread. For now, we can rely on uh, existing log file. There's one possibility. Another possibility, they are other, they are built in data explorer are already available in a sample application. You can load them and test your metadata loaded successfully or not. So what I'm going to do, the next step to validate metadata loading the data explorer we call web explorer over here to check members are loaded right so we go to administration manage document this activity we are going to do once again in subsequent session. You go to admin, administration, web documents, and load the data grid. We call data explorer or data grid. We have existing data grid and sample application, practice application. Click on load. I clicked over here on load and browse the file data explorer and web grid this is for desktop client this is for web client right go to web grid and load any one of them for practice web grid is getting loaded there are three web grids now the web grid will not load at all the first testing is itself if your metadata does not exist, your web grid failed to load it. That is first level of testing. If it is loaded, it means your metadata is fine. And you can open any particular web grid and check your metadata structure. See, you can see the entity structure only if your meta metadata exists. Right? Otherwise, you can see the error matches over here. All the point of view are visible exactly same way it is visible in the desktop client practice application seven the same application i open from desktop client and web client when you open the application first time you need to give a a folder location where it is stored the temporary file I,
the same application I'm opening from desktop client also. See, here I'm specifying data explorer, the same facility given over in web client. Exactly same. For entity structure, it is regional, United States, California. Also check the same thing over here. Regional, United States, California. So just load the uh, this document, data grid or web grid and open any one of them. If they are getting open, it means the metadata loaded successfully. So this is an additional step. Load data explorer. Next step, we load the data. After loading metadata, we test the metadata through data grid and web grid. Next step, this is optional step. Member list and rule file are optional. We have option over here, load them. And a practice application, load section. We have option over here to load rule. Member list, exactly same step. Select the member list. Scan and load. Load it successfully, no error, no warning. Next, I'm going to load the rule file. Load. Okay, I have got error. Basically, I use a custom defined rule file which, ha which is referring to some member which does not exist. So, you can go for a default one. The default is rule and the other one are customized which we are going to use in a subsequent session. Processing no error, no warning. The next step is loading rule. They are already given a sequence so you don't have to mug up any step. Now, the difference over here in the desktop client and web client. In desktop client we have option to load data one file at a time. But here we have option to load multiple file. In a load data, we have option to load one data file at one time. But here, you can load multiple data file together. Again, a data file is also the same. There is no additional data file you require. All data and load. Loading may be a little time consuming affair. Therefore, it is submit as a job. You can see your job progress in order to make it more interactive and easy to understand. The moment data file will load, it will automatically close it. And the same information would be recorded into your log so that at any moment, uh, you can go back and check what members are loaded and what time they start and all this detail. Okay, so member are loaded success. Data is loaded successfully, sorry. You can check data loaded successfully once again in your data explorer. Exactly same step you need to perform. For July, the data loaded for uh, which intersection, the same intersection I'll open and check the data. So I'll take this application. data file we'll check this data is loaded successfully or not by giving going to this intersection actual 2004 july actual 2004 periodic is july next is periodic stamford usd Periodic Stanford Next is USD Admin Expenses and ICP None So 
admin expenses, ICP none, and custom dimension, goal ball customer to goal ball customer to and this is none and this one is increase. So I select the correct intersection. Now I'll check the data. Right, the data is same as loaded over here. Double two nine five zero with this intersection. The same is being displayed over here. Double two nine five zero. Right, it means your data loaded successfully. You can check with other intersection as well. I just checked one intersection to ensure data loaded or not. Next steps is loading journal is optional. You can select load journal and select the journal file. The journal file is same. JLF extension loaded. And loading ICP you can completely skip as of now. So the additional step which you perform over here in manage metadata, you load a data grid. You still have an option to load data form. Click on data form, which is not required at the moment, but you still can do that. In a web form, data form is called web form. web form loaded and you can check or oh, load one web form and open and check they're getting open yes optionally you can also load task list load the task is also given over here task list is basically the first window will open when user logs in you can also load the reporting so these are all optional which we do not require at the moment but subsequent session which you require you can simply go and load them in a report section is ICP reports system reports load any one of them and check no error. Okay, so we are done. All the objects are loaded in a desktop client web client. Now, at this point, your practice application is ready. You can start working on your practice application.